Good morning, this is Valerie from My Scrap Chick, and today I'm going to do a tutorial on our new Toucan easel card. Um, and I just want you to know I've gone ahead and worked ahead a little on this because I just want to show you the most important parts. But I did put the inside panel for the card base, and I lined it up here for the inside. And I did put the two pieces of the tag message tag layer together and then added this the small leaves to it and to show you when you're doing an easel card what happens is you fold the card in half like this and then you fold the front piece again in half and we'll be attaching the card front to that but that's what actually creates the easel card effect for an easel card I also went ahead and put together the the, this is the card front and I added the Sun and the leaves and you'll notice on these that there's a slight border around these items and you would line everything up to be about the same equal distance when you're doing that and then what I'm going to do here now is putting the two can together so when you're putting the two can together my recommendation is to always start with this lower beak, the orange part, or the part on mine that's orange. And um, for some reason, it just seems to be a little easier getting everything lined up when that one is in place first. When you would do these, you can actually create these using any colors you like, any color combinations. You can even do prints. Um, okay, so we have the orange piece on there. And then I'm going to add the, the, the small little piece of black on the tip of his beak and of course I boop, I got it on the wrong side let me grab this other one it's gonna go this direction I just put the glue on the wrong side because I had the card the piece of paper flipped over so put the glue on there add that and lining it up along the edges and then I'll start with the black on the top upper beak. And I've seen where people have actually painted two cans and they've done the, the tips of, instead of in black, they've done them in different colors and whatnot. So get creative and use any colors you like, but I added the first part of the beak there and then I'm gonna work my way up. So first I had the black, next I'll do the yellow it just makes it easy to kind of slide that piece in there and put it up against the edge of the other the other piece. Next I'll do the green and the same thing, kind of lining that up along the edges and tucking it up there next to the yellow. And then onto my pink. slide that right in there and I'm going to set him aside for just a minute I'm going to work on the eyes and the eyes going to line up right here on the white and there's a little hole in both the blue piece and on the black piece and that's to make it easy to have a little highlight <clears throat> on the eyeball and so what I'm going to do when I do the black, I'm going to line it up the whole of the black with the one that is on the blue. So that's all lined up. And now I'm going to put it onto the body of the toucan. And the same thing here is these pieces are going to line up. right up into there and then next I will do <laughs> this this thing is really handy for holding my my glue but yeah I knock it around and I put the branch for his feet on first and then I do the feet Okay, and then once that's done, 
If you like, you could pop dot the toucan and put him on the front. I uh, think for the sake of time, right this this time I'm not going to. I'm going to just go ahead and put some glue on the back here. And then when I go to place him on the card front, again, there's going to be a slight blue outline or border right there. And I do kind of want him centered in there. Okay, we place him on there. Now, I take the card base and I flip the whole thing over like this. And since you've already, I've already creased the card front, you can see the fold line along there. Well, I'm only going to put glue on this bottom half and then I'm going to attach the card front. But only glue the bottom half. And then just like this, place the card front on top, lining up along the bottom. And when that's in place and good and solid, then what happens is okay, with the card closed, you have this, and then when the recipient gets it, they pop the card open, and you have an easel card. Thanks. Hope you enjoy it.